Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a thick piece of lumber and make it thin without a planer by using a router and a homemade jig. The jig is over here, probably not been used in a year. Here are all the pieces to it. I use a three and a half horsepower router just because I have it. I don't use it for anything else. And I've got a one and a quarter inch straight bit in it. And like all the other ones that you see on YouTube, it rides in here. Constantly running back and forth, shaving off the wood little by little. mine and a bunch of others is that this out the way. Mine has a bunch of holes drilled in it and they, they're countersunk and they're like that on both sides. See where I fell off one time. And what happens is stocks vary in thicknesses. So on one side I've got one and three eighths, on the other side, I've got one and an eighth. And it's grooved in. I made that with several passes on the table saw, but it's very accurate. And these were made at the same time, and this was cut at the same time, and all that stuff. And right here, I've got a row of screws that I use. I just keep these here for convenience. They are one inch drywall screws, because I don't want to grab in the wood, but just enough to hold it. And with all these number of holes, I'm usually able to find a place that they will align. So, I'll go ahead and give a guess here. Try it out. As I hold it in place with one hand, I turn it up just enough to get a screw in. Here, we've got the same thing going on. Now I'll do that again. Just enough to hold it in place. And I always want to keep it somewhere in the middle, just because it's easier that way. And you can make these as large as you want. I made mine small because if it gets big, I usually just use the planer anyway. Now we'll watch it in action. The neat thing about these is you can visualize where your bit goes. So. Okay, so you can see what's going on, as if you didn't know. I've got it set up to take, I've got it set up to take approximately, looks like about a sixteenth to an eighth which is about all I want to take off in a single pass because this is going to make a mess. But with that said, I'll back this thing up, try to put an angle on it you can see, and start working.
I'll say where I am. Five eighty. So I need another a little over sixteenth took off. So let's do it again. Neat thing about plunge routers is that most of them have these stop systems here. So that's what I'm going to use. I've got it set what looks like about a sixteenth to me. I'm going to unlock it. Push it down. Lock it again. And start all over. Second pass. somebody will learn something. Thanks for all your views and your support of my channel. See you next time.